So today we have uh, Sonia, so who has been in the documentary film industry for over 20 years. So Sonia, do tell us about your initial years. Where did you study and what courses did you take? All right. Uh, thanks for having me. So um, I studied at Pune University. I did my master's in uh, communication studies, uh, specialized in video production. Uh, and then, yeah, then I came to Mumbai and started working. OK. So what motivated you to choose your passion? Well, uh, I was always interested in telling stories. I was very fascinated with uh, the whole art of storytelling. And uh, when I uh, came to know about the course, and you know, at that time where you know the whole audiovisual medium uh, was just uh, starting, or you know, starting to expand and gaining popularity in in India. So uh, I was very curious and fascinated with that aspect. So. So my my uh, passion for or my interest for storytelling from a long time before that, combined with this you know new 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 wave of you know the of uh, interest that was going around in terms of uh, filmmaking or in terms of telling stories through the audiovisual medium, combining these two is something that you know got me uh, to pursue uh, communication studies. Yeah. Okay. So which organizations have you worked for earlier? Uh, okay, so I worked for a few. Um, I, I started uh, working with uh, with the NGO, actually, with a filmmaker who was uh, part of an NGO. I also worked for um, large corporate TV channels uh, in India as well as overseas. I, was in, I also worked in Dubai and um so bombay and and dubai and then um now i i am based out of uh, mumbai and uh, me and uh, a, a, a friend another filmmaker friend partnered and set up our own small uh, production company so yeah that's been the so how do you use technology and how do you think it will impact your line of business See, uh, my line of uh, work as such is predominantly storytelling. So, so uh, the more you are away from technology, the better story you can leave. But uh, in, in terms of focus and uh, that, but jokes aside, uh, I mean, yes, technology is uh, such an integral part of who we are and what we do in the sense that it, it definitely helps uh, in terms of reaching out, in terms of you know research, in terms of just technology, in terms of cameras, in terms of editing, you know, uh, all of yeah. that you need to stay abreast. You need to to know, if not know how to use it, at least know what's there so that you know you can make informed choices. Uh, and of course, like I said, you know, uh, just uh, accessing online resources and all of that has made a huge difference. But predominantly, you know, uh, uh, if you want to tell a good story, yeah, I probably would. Uh, oh, I'm of the of the thought that you know you take pen and paper and put it down, and there's no substitute to that. I mean, you know, you always you always go back to just using, uh, you know, writing it down or putting it down, and and then use technology to help you tell your story. So yeah, that's how I see technology. Uh, okay. you know, in, in my land. So what skills should someone have to succeed in your field? Um, skills would be how, you know, we weaving a good story. I mean, you know, how do you weave a good story? And uh, I don't necessarily mean uh, taking a camera. I mean, that is ultimately if you're making uh, films, you, you do take a camera and go out and, and it helps to, to uh, yeah, it helps to to kind of um, know how to use that. But but how how do you tell a good story? Basically, is uh, is something that you know you have to uh, develop, and that only comes with time, with practice. You have to keep doing it. You have to use uh, though your your medium might be audio visual. Uh, you can tell your stories and enhance your skills in many many ways of of storytelling. Basically. I see it as basic 
you need to know how to tell a good story. Yeah, that's the skill. So I'm how do you measure? Yeah, yeah. So how do yeah. you measure success? How do I measure success? Uh, well, um, I suppose um, if you are a, if you if you're a good mentor, I think that's a good way to measure or you know to gauge success. If if you can uh, you know if you if you can be a good mentor to somebody who can uh, who's coming up who needs help who's, who's starting out, uh, if you can help them in any way and you know with your with your experience, your background, and all of that. I think that is, for me, a, a good, good way to make success. Okay. So, what guidance do you have for those who are looking to pursue a similar career? Um, um, a guidance. Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, definitely uh, watch Watch all kinds of films, not just document. Watch everything you can lay your, uh, you know, hands on, eyes on. Because uh, the more you watch, the more uh, you know you, you learn basically, and not just what you like to watch. Watch all kinds of things basically. That uh, you know, and watch with a critical eye. Question everything that you watch, uh, whether fiction, non-fiction, question all kinds of questions, whether technology-based questions, whether how it is done, whether conceptual questions, whether it's ethical questions, just question, you know, don't take everything you see or don't look at everything you see, take it, you know, just for granted, you have to question. Uh, that, uh, that is one, one thing. Secondly, uh, uh, do not, I mean, you know, uh, just persevere, I mean, do not give up. It's very easy to give up uh, and uh, I, I, I think we all, all know that, you know, uh, there are drawbacks all along the way. We just have to persevere. That's that's one thing. It's easier said than done, but you gotta be at it. I would think. So that's a general, you know, mantra for for you know life. I think. Um, yeah, just these two things. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you, Sonia. Thank you for your input. Thank you too. All the best. Yeah. Thank you.